All right, in this lesson, we're going to talk about goals. We're really going to identify where you want to be, and we need to be specific. So I'm going to ask you kind of a variation of maybe the best goal setting question that I've ever heard. And it came from, uh, you know, a mentor of mine, Dan Sullivan, who um, basically developed what is now known as the Dan Sullivan question. So I'm going to paraphrase and, and use a variation of that. So if we were having a conversation 12 months from today, what would have had to have happened for you personally and professionally for you to feel like you've had great success, to, for you to feel like you've reached the goals that you set out to achieve? So that's where we want to go. I want you to get kind of clear. I want you to get a vivid picture of what success would be to you 12 months from now. Now, I know when Dan talks about his question, he talks in a 36 month time frame. A lot of people talk about three to five year goals. Well, for the purposes of what we're doing, I want to focus on a year. I want to look one year out because that's, that's something where we can make meaningful change. We can really have an impact if we use that as our time frame, but it's not abstract. And we know how quickly things change. We know how quickly technology changes and, and the industry changes and really the environment within you know, where we're working is going to evolve. So let's focus on something that we can probably predict pretty well. So. I want you to think in terms of 12 months. What would success look like to you? What goals would you like to achieve? Now, I'm going to ask you to divide this up, and I want you to set five professional goals and five personal goals. And in that professional category, I want you to think in terms of, you know, number of clients, maybe expanding your business, maybe writing a book. Um, how much gross revenue your business is doing, how much profit, how much personal income you're making. I want you to think about the role you're playing within the business. You know, how many hours you're working or maybe what days you're taking off or how many weeks of vacation that you take, all of that stuff. I want you to think about five and I want you to be very specific about those. Now, on the personal side, I want you to think in terms of things that happen under your roof, okay? And it can be, you know, family goals with a significant other, with your, you know, with your children if you have them. I want you to think about your own personal development or your own personal health. I want you to think about things like you know, okay, am I going to pay off debt? Am I going to put money away for retirement? And I understand some of that stuff might seem like a professional goal, but, you know, for the purposes of this, let's just lump retirement and debt, like personal debt stuff under personal. Things that, you know, are going to set your family up for security, things are that are going to create more peace of mind at home. I mean, it might just be that you want to coach you know, your son's little league. It may be that you want to go to, um, you know, Hawaii for vacation. Setting the goals that are important to you, that make you feel like you made significant progress. They don't all have to be habit-based goals, but maybe one or two of them are. They, you know, they, they can be whatever you want because it's your business, it's your life. So we need to make sure that this is fulfilling to you. So. Yeah, we can expand beyond five later. We can narrow it down and focus more in the short term on one or two or three of those. That's fine. But I want you to set five professional, five personal for the time being now. Now, a couple parameters that we want to adhere to when we're setting these goals. Parameter number one, things that you can accomplish in 12 months that we're going to measure from you know today, you watching this lesson, 12 months from today, not 12 months from when the year started, not by the end of the year, 12 months from today. So now we've got something that, that we've got a, a manageable time frame to accomplish it, but there's still a little bit of urgency because if we procrastinate, we're not going to accomplish anything big. Okay. 
The second thing is we have to be very specific. It's not enough to say I want to grow my business or I want to hire more employees or I want to work fewer hours. One hour less is fewer hours. One more employee is hiring employees. Making more money can be one dollar more. I mean, I know those are extreme examples, but that's why we have to be specific. We have to think in terms of, okay, if I want more clients, how many more? So if you currently have a, you know, 100 clients in your business, do you want 120? Do you want 150 at year's end? You decide. If you want to make a certain amount of gross revenue, if you're making $20,000 a month in gross revenue, what can you accomplish in 12 months that, that would make you happy? You know, is it 25 a month? Is it 30 a month? Is it 35 a month? You pick. You know, if it's, I want to take a vacation, get specific about where you want that vacation to be because you have to think about the details. You have to think about, okay, how much time am I going to need? How much money is it going to cost me to do it? When can I do it? Because maybe there are other variables. I know that when I'm planning a vacation, I have to think about, okay, when's, you know, when, when are holiday breaks for the kids from school? What else does Holly have going on? So I need to plan vacations accordingly. I mean, there, you know, there are plenty of times we talked about vacations that might be a little bit longer travel, but, you know, I, I mean, when, when my younger son Alex was, you know, really young, the thought of going somewhere like Hawaii seemed to be a little more trouble than it was worth as far as spending that much time on an airplane. So I want you to set very specific goals, but I also want you to find this balance between knowing that these goals are attainable but they're aggressive. You know, I want you to push yourself. I want you to set goals that, you know, you're going to have to get out of your comfort zone to achieve. But you know what? If your business did $100,000 last year, it's not going to do a million dollars this year unless something dramatic changes that probably falls well beyond the scope of what we can cover in this mentorship, right? So think about what is a realistic but aggressive target. Doubling your business is, is certainly for a, a business that's at an early stage or an even, even an intermediate stage is an aggressive but attainable goal. You know, 10, 10xing your business in 12 months probably doesn't fall into that category unless we're a brand new startup and we've just got a handful of clients, right? So we have to think about what's realistic to achieve. You know, if we're talking about you know, paying down our debt or taking vacations. What's, what can we do if we're being aggressive, if we're doing the right things, if we're actually making progress and making change? But, you know, what, you know, what, what can we do that, that is attainable? I, I mean, all too often people plan for things that they're, they're either pie in the sky, they're just shooting for the moon because they don't have any idea about you know, what they can actually accomplish. So they're just going to throw something out there. They're going to say, well, hey, I've got 50 clients now. I'd like to have 500 by the end of the year. And they don't have any idea how to get there. It's not specific. It's not something that, that they can create an effective plan around. The stars would have to align for something like that to happen. Or, you know, we, we see it all the time, like people just they overestimate what can be accomplished. And, you know, I mean, I, I see it with people, they're like, hey, I'm, I'm gonna give myself five minutes to get to, you know, get to school to pick up my child when the only way that that's gonna happen is if you hit every light and, you know, you go 15 miles an hour over the speed limit to get there or something else. I mean, that's not, that's not attainable and realistic because there are some variables beyond your control. So how do we pick that right balancing act? Think about, okay, well, what's been our best month to date? Well, we could probably make our best month our average month. You know, what has gone really well for us when we've been focused and we've had the type of, um, you know, work ethic or direction or clarity? Think about anything in your life doesn't even have to necessarily be professional. When you had focus and clarity and a plan and you were willing to work the plan throughout, how much progress were you able to make in a specific time frame? Because 
realistically, if you set a target 12 months from now, you've got a lot of time. Like we probably overestimate what we can do in the short term, but we underestimate what we can accomplish in a year. So think about that 12 month target, be specific, be aggressive, but attainable, five professional, five personal, just fill it out and understand that it's not written in stone. It's something that can be flexible. I mean, I, I keep my goals, personal goals, professional goals in front of me on my desk. And there are a lot more than five, but they're all kind of interwoven, right? They're all kind of tied together. And, you know, I may set a goal about, you know, attending a certain number of sporting events with my family or something like that. But if we decide to go, you know, later on, we're like, you know, would rather go to, you know, a beach instead of attending a sporting event it's okay, right? But I understood that it was, I wanna go create a meaningful experience with my family. So don't, don't think that goals are, are handcuffs that you can't get past, but we know that if we're going to accomplish anything great, we have to start with a meaningful target so we can reverse engineer it. So go ahead, fill out the worksheet, identify five personal, five professional goals, be very specific. I'll look forward to seeing what you put together.